up guys welcome to my youtube channel thanks for watching just want to show you guys uh, some of the cool stuff that i've been sourcing doing a lot of garage sales doing a lot of uh, estate sales and i uh, got a nice little haul here just want to give you guys a little idea of some of the stuff that i'm uh, that i'm getting here um but i will say um if you guys are always hitting the same thrift stores over and over or once every other week you know you go there um right now especially uh, the time of year it's definitely the time to be uh, hitting up the garage sales estate sales um, all that stuff you're going to be able to find better things for a much lower cost and you'll be able to negotiate a little bit more too which is always a good thing there um, but real quick to start right off i want to show you guys some of the cool stuff here um, <clears throat> So first thing I got here, uh, I got this at a garage sale. This is like, this is like 1970s, it's like a walkie-talkie set, um, true vintage. Um, but yeah, this had the, the box and everything. Uh, they work really good, just really good, um, really good quality. Uh, my son and I were were testing them out, and they they work. It's also got like Morse uh, Morse code um, on it. So I think I paid three bucks for this um i don't think they're worth a whole bunch um i'll probably get maybe 30 40 bucks for that so but that was a nice find there uh the other thing that i got here was a nice jacket got this at a guard sale <clears throat> if you guys all know what brand matters um so that's mountain hardware great comps always a good brand to look for i guess uh pay four or five bucks for this one um, very nice quality this is like a size medium um, but yeah it's a men's jacket so yeah that is an easy easy 30 bucks or so and this other cool thing I got here was a uh, vintage uh, spider-man puzzle this is 19 1978 it's got all the pieces a whole whopping 48 pieces but this is a nice find I think I only paid three bucks I think I'll probably get 20 25 bucks for it so nothing nothing too crazy but like it's just awesome to find this kind of cool stuff <laughs> so yeah that was a nice find there uh, let's see what else I get here got a nice uh, vintage GE uh, cassette player I'll probably get an easy 30 30 bucks, yeah, 35 bucks or so for, for that one there. Got this good uh, Boss Hugo. This is actually a, a woman's perfume. It's like a gift set. Yeah, never, never use this, this perfume and it's got, um, looks like body lotion and looks like uh, shower gel. But yeah, this was never never opened. I think I paid I think two bucks for this. I might be able to easily get like a 40, 45 bucks for that. So yeah, Boss Hugo. That stuff is always always doing really good. And then we got some good old vintage uh, Hershey's chocolate. This is made in the USA. Actually got a got two of these. These are only 50 cents. I got this, got these at an estate sale. Let's see. Let's see here. So if you can see the single stitch there. Yeah, I got two of these. They're size large. Um, made, made in USA. But again, only paid 50 cents for these, so you can't beat that. Um, they're not worth only a whole bunch. We'll probably get maybe 20, 20 bucks or so a piece for those. Nice and lightweight. So stuff like that always does good. And then we also got this at the same estate sale. This is a Jersey's brand. <clears throat> Made in USA. Uh, golf, just kind of a, a woman's ugly sweater, but stuff like this is fire. Stuff like this always does good on eBay. Um, this is probably an easy 40 bucks to the right person just because it's vintage. Um, made in USA, uh, size large. So this will definitely go to the right person. Don't pass up on vintage clothing. Man. Um, this stuff is always selling on eBay. So don't pass up on that. 
what else what else do we got here uh then we got a kind uh, of kind of a tip shot in the dark here um i know um, vintage phones do really good this is like a victorian rotary uh, telephone i don't know if this is like 60s or 70s um this is definitely the the, the real deal i don't know if this is like uh, like brass um, there's a lot of replicas out there on eBay uh, selling for like 40 50 bucks but this is the real real thing um, you can just tell by by the plug and everything on here um, but I paid twenty dollars for this um, I think I can at least get maybe a hundred bucks or so um, I don't know a lot about vintage telephones but I know uh, things like this sell all the time on eBay every day I was okay uh, risking 20 bucks for that. Um, I've seen a lot of these sell, sell pretty pretty high. So that was a nice find. Sometimes it's just kind of cool to, to, to get your hands on this kind of stuff. So hopefully I'll get 100 bucks or so on that one. Yeah, what else we got here? We got, uh, got some Starbucks mugs. It's funny because I, um, I never find three ounce mugs. ones but this is pretty sweet I like paid 25 cents for this um, if you're not familiar with the Starbucks mugs uh, the tumblers and then the, the ceramic cups these will always do good on eBay you find some uh, old old vintage ones too I've seen a lot of them sell for hundreds of dollars so there's definitely a market for for the Starbucks mugs so don't pass up on the mugs there um, this might only be like 20 25 bucks there and then we also got here, got this at an estate sale. These are like 1950s, I believe. 50s or 60s. Um, but yeah, any any of the, the tin toys, uh, these always do really good. And this is like military fighter jets, uh, army stuff. Um, this, I think I only pay maybe six, seven bucks at an estate sale. Probably get 30 bucks for that there. Um, then I got another vintage uh, tin airplane uh, Comet 4 um, got some watchers on this I started the auction at $69 I think I paid I think I paid eight bucks on this one um, but the tin tin toys uh, again those always do really good uh, these are definitely in the 50s or 60s um, the wings come off too they're they're uh, let's see here that are interchangeable. I think I, I don't know if you put the wings on there, but I don't know if the whole <laughs> the whole purpose of that. But but yeah, those come off there. Um, again, definitely a good good profit there. Vintage toys will always do good. And then we got some GI Joe board games. GI Joes. There's definitely uh, I've seen a lot of GI Joe stuff uh, sell for a lot on eBay. I paid three bucks a piece for these. This is a 1980. Let's see here. Yeah, 1982 board game. Great condition of the box. Um, very cool. Um, it's all complete. I've already taken that apart. And then I got this other big one. This this one I'll actually get a little bit more for. Uh, I believe this is also probably 1980s or so. Um, I'll probably get 50 bucks for this one. Um, GI Joe. GI Joe's uh, stuff does really good. Actually, I got this uh, set up over here so you can kind of see my son and I were, were playing this one but it's just a just a defending your own kind of a, your base you got all I guess you got four four teams or four four yeah four different teams or whatever um, honestly I don't know how to play this game but <laughs> it looks kind of fun but it is complete and it's just kind of cool to have all these big uh, structure items on there uh, very well kept uh, great condition so um, again I'll probably get 45 50 bucks for this it was only three bucks at a uh, at an estate sale so um, definitely the uh, the estate sales definitely want to go go check those out uh, garage sales some people just like to get rid of their own shit and just don't even think about what some of the things are worth um, and you can negotiate so uh, yeah definitely <laughs> You should be everyone should be doing that right now but i saved some of the best uh, for last um 
got some true vintage uh, Tonka toys. Um, there's a lot of Tonka stuff online that you find where the, the colors are all uh, faded, they're yellow, they're all, they're all rusted. Um, but these were actually really good, good condition. Uh, still has some gloss to them, especially this one. Um, this has some nice gloss to it. So, so it's funny about these. I, I listed both of these. I'm, ask, I'm asking $249 uh, a piece for these. Um, but someone actually emailed me today on eBay and uh, sent me a link um, with with all the different styles and the things to look for. And they actually kind of corrected me a little bit and said um, said these are actually uh, like 1949 to 1952. 19 yeah 1949 to 1952 is the date range uh, they're giving me on these. Um, so these are definitely vintage. They're all metal. There's like no plastic whatsoever. I mean the the wheels, the wheels are rubber. You know nowadays everything is all all plastic. You got plastic wheels. Um, there's probably like five percent metal on the new Tonkas nowadays. Uh, definitely don't pass up on the the vintage Tonkas. Um, a lot of people just like to collect these. But it's like any anything else online. Uh, the better condition it is, the more the more money it's worth. So, yeah, nice find. And then the very last last item I found here at a garage sale. This is probably the most profitable item. I paid five bucks for this. And I don't know if you guys know what this is just by looking at it, but this is true like vintage uh, Christmas uh, ceramic. Uh, this is a Christmas tree. Um, it's like a light bright. Um, it's got a light, so it's a two it's a two piece set here and I don't want to break this I'm going to be very nervous shipping this on eBay um, but it's like a light bright and it's ceramic you plug it in and all these lights uh, light up and there's a lot of them on on eBay where the either they're missing the original lights or they're all glued in um, but these nothing's glued in uh, these are all the original lights it even has has a uh, extras um, but yeah, someone was only asking five bucks for this, and I can honestly say I will probably get at least a minimum of 150 bucks for it. But I even have it listed as high as I think two, two fifty, uh, just because it's a lot taller. It's 20 inches. You see all the smaller ones selling between 50 to 100 bucks that are like 15 inches. Um, but yeah, 20 inches tall. 12 inches wide the bigger the better bigger the better for these um, some people are just really into their their uh, their vintage uh, Christmas decorations anything holiday related um, Hallmark uh, like ornaments people just go crazy over that stuff um, but again this is probably the best find of the day at a garage sale so stuff like this you can easily find at garage sale guys so don't pass up on it <sighs> All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. Again, I just want to let you guys know to take a break from the thrift stores and start doing the garage sales and estate sales. Because now's the time to be hitting up that stuff. You find a lot of good stuff, cheap prices, and you can negotiate negotiate the prices and everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Continue to watch my YouTube videos. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll do some more videos later. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Peace. <laughs>